in a world where a detective is ready to solve every single crime he's ever encountered. I am James, I mean, Charles, f f Reed, Charles. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I? What's up? What's good, guys? <laughs> Don't ask me how long it took me to get up here, but, um, it took me quite a while. All right. Anyway, we are about to enter this place. The Oak Mall City Hall. Because I think this is where we have to go to um, figure out who the poison guy is. So yeah. Nope, not talking to her. She is a mean old lady. I do not want to talk to her. Nope, don't climb on everything, dude. You're not Spider-Man, dude. Stop. Okay, let's see. So we need... The Poisoner of the University. Doesn't show the icon this time. Oh well. Let's give it a go anyway. He's a citizen for sure. And an advent. That's what I know. So what do we... Um... Citizen records? No. Oh, maybe it's this one. The Poison Thief. Man, you you guys honestly think I'll be cheating because I am this good. But I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm a... Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, good news though. Episodes 7 and 8 are about to be motherfucking uploaded. And you're currently watching episode 10. Yeah. Man, I'm on a roll. Um, on Wednesdays... I, uh, next, well, this Wednesday I cannot upload, so I'll make sure I have extra for you guys. And on Thursday I'll be back uploading full for a few weeks. Alright. Well, it's good. George Cavendish profile. Okay. So, we lives in Advent. Uh, Advent Central on St. Michael's Road. Between Carpenter and Constitution Street. Flat number two. All right, so it's an Advent, St. Michael's Road, Constitution Street. So that was here, I think. Um, Carpenter Street, St. Michael's Road between Carpenter Street and Constitution. Okay, so Constitution and Carpenter. Okay, so between that. So it is. Here, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, is it a long walk? <laughs> it's a walk, all right. And uh, you probably expect to be skipping this. Well, <clears throat> you're wrong. You know what, I, I hear you guys, I hear you. You know, just skip it, dude, just skip it. I hear you. But you're wrong, because we are just gonna walk. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, right, mister. You are one ugly mother... Never mind. Alright. So, how's everybody been? These whole ten minutes. If you're binge-watching this, if you're watching this another day, then uh, how have you been? How's your life? How's everything? Hope you're good. I'm good. Alright, man. We are gonna continue with the quit pro quo mission. And, uh... See how we do. All right, so it should be somewhere around here in a flat. So this is a flat right here. It might be this one. Um. Okay, so I think you can only go into the buildings with the H on the door. So it was on St. Michael's Road between Constitution and Carpenter. So it's it's around here somewhere. Um. Yeah. Well, that seems abandoned. I mean, it must be here, right? This is a flat. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have an H on the door, though. All right, let's search for the... The door won't budge. Apartment of Cavendish. Not here. Maybe it's... Oh. Oh, my. If you want it, take it. It's free. All right. 
So there's only two houses in this apartment. <laughs> this is just... These are supposed to be stairs for sure, but... Oh, yeah, it won't budge. The door won't budge. Let me shovel that motherfucker. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. Well... And why keep it around? Well, if you know, if you're cheating, you don't put on the ring, obviously. I mean, must be a little detective here. Well, this has to be the... Never mind. I thought I was about to say, this must be the decent looking toilet we've seen in this game. But no. No, that toilet is dirty too. What's happening? What happened? Okay. Westbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market. She shouldn't learn about me. New hauls of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. The guard spends most of his time on the second floor during the night. Think about a divert suspicion from Westbrook. Don't want him. Right, so this clearly this clearly shows that um, he's been eyeing him. Oh, man. All right, pause the video if you want to read. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. And the EOD is in the center of all of it. Oh my god. <sighs> the door won't close. Don't make me shovel. Oh yeah, looks like we gonna need a little iron. I loved you. I always loved you. I like it how in his vision he knows what Cavendish looks like, but he doesn't. He'd never seen Cavendish. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. Well, you may be right. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Oh man, a breakup. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine! <laughs> mine! <laughs> Alright, so that would be... Okay, let's see. One, George. two... I don't and... care what Please. your... You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! So who's the woman? I'm leaving you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. Anna. Yeah, I thought so. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Oh. What happened? Oh. Cutscene? What are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. Hmm. No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once. Then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. Yes, oh, it man. was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. Oh. This should be fun. 
What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. Uh-huh. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then she became pregnant. Yes. Pregonine? At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Uh huh. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Look, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. <laughs> they maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. I see. So what's your next move? I... Was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask, but after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to <sighs> Are help you me? You nuts! What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That <laughs> K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. That's fucked up. Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD. After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot well... of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah, perhaps not coincidentally. No, uh, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Um... Keep talking. Now, what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but That's it's not, not enough. Happening. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Man, that is tricky because... I mean... I'll be killing a lot of people. <laughs> I don't really think that's the point. No, I'm just gonna tell him he deserves to die. You're a madman, Cavendish. You're willing to let innocent people suffer and die just to get revenge on your ex-wife. No, this madness has to stop. And I'm gonna put an end to it right now. 
Oh, no, no. You, you don't understand. Get the fuck out, dude. I mean, he had nothing to live for after he broke up with his wife. I mean, wasn't he the head of a school? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a job. If you think about it. All right. Uh, Cavendish is dead. Let's go back to the fish market and talk to Anna. Um, see you guys in a little bit. I'll be skipping to it this time. I'm going to see you in a second. Fresh fish? <laughs> All right, we back. Man, guys, episode nine. You are going to... Enjoy that one for sure. Just watched it myself, and even I got myself to laugh. And I usually don't laugh at myself that much. Just kidding. I laugh at myself all the time because I'm funny as fuck. <laughs> right, never mind. Let's get back. Let's do this. I found the poisoner and dealt with him. He won't be bothering you anymore. See, bless you, Charlie. That's great news. Who was it? Well, see, now that's the interesting part. It was your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. Well, that son of a rotten shark finally got what was coming to him. Good riddance. Good riddance. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. He was always a pushover. Well? All right. No more messing around. Give me my Get money. Get in touch with your... Grand Poobah or whoever's in charge now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm a woman of my word. Go to the basement of the fish market. It's nearby. Hey, You'll boy. find an inn smather there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. Sweet. <sighs> About time. That's it? Glad to see you again. Glad to see me again. Okay, the basement of the fish market, so that's... There will be darkness. Where is that? Oh. And it is only fair to be I didn't afraid. click. Titanic forces are at work. Infinitely greater than ourselves. Unknowable. Incomprehensible. Yeah, you're not there nuts. There will be sacrifice. And you're fine. There will be loss. There will be darkness. But these... Are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time. And each of us has a part to play. He likes to talk. Interesting speech. You really think there's an upside to all this? Absolutely. The darker the day, the brighter we can all shine. And we will all shine again soon. All that's needed is faith. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Oh, he's a Blackwood. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah. Charles Reed, good to meet you. Okay. Blackwood, you're a member of the Grand Family. I am indeed the last of that line. Inheritor of an empty mansion and a severed history. Rip. All right, see you later. <laughs> I'll see you around. <laughs> what? No, we won't. What the fuck? Dude, I hope I don't have to fight. <clears throat> uh, oh, my fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I hope I don't have to fight one of those fuckers. All right, so how do I get to the basement? I like how everybody looks like a piece of junk, but look at this guy. Fucking pimp daddy over here. This fucking guy should be my thumbnail. Hold on. Let's make that shit happen. What the fuck? Get out. Get out. Alright. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I just gotta figure out how to find the pictures in game. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Alright, so how do I get to the. Through the basement. Or how do I get to the basement of this place? Alright, I'll see you guys in a second while I figure this out. Alright, so. Uh, I think it's over there. Over here, but I can't get in. Oh, never mind, it's over there! I'm an idiot. Alright, anyway. Uh. 
Let's get to my mind palace real quick. Let's see what we can discover. Oh, more pauses for you to read because you like long texts. If you want it, take it. It's free. You can pause the video if you want to read this one. I, I, it's a long thing to read, though, but, you know, you can do it, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's dumb. All right. Uh, secret chamber in the warehouse. Um, no. Oh, yeah, there we go. The EOD's operations are shady. The EOD has much more going on than a charity organization. They're dirty, and I know it. Whatever they're up to, it isn't good. All right, what else we got? Uh, Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of the EOD, and she will follow any instructions without hesitation. Oh, uh, Anna Cavendish is covering up the EOD's shady ambitious to take the city. I think that's that's the one for sure. All right, and that's one. All right, George sabotaged the EOD. George Cavendish poisoned the fish to undermine the EOD's charitable operation. George Cavendish became desperate after UD robbed him of his wife. He determined to save others from the same fate. No, he became fucking nuts, that's for sure. Can't tell for sure if Anna is uh, evil or not, so we're just gonna go with Honest Benefactor. Oh, there we go. I should help Anna Cavendish deal with the poisoner and help save the city from starvation. I'm all right. First, let's get down to the basement. To basementness. The business. Oh, careful, don't sprint too much. Right, search for... First, we search for loot, because that is what you do. I can't carry anymore, what am I? Let's get a lot of bullets for that one. That, that 44 Magnum PI is a strong gun. I prefer that, I like, I like shooting with that more than I like with the regular gun. The regular gun's a bit quicker, but... No, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's talk to this. Oh. Okay. The door won't budge. Okay, hold on. Get hit, shot it. Why did they attack me? I thought we were just gonna talk. What happened? Oh my god, Anna, you whore. Anna, you better get the fuck over here. Hey, hey, Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. Isn't that the doctor? Fred. You're looking from the for university? No, ain't that right? The scientist, the <laughs> order guy. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. Um, the order? What is this order you mentioned? Uh, yeah. You don't know, do you? EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Dagon? An old, old being from the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The Innsmouthers worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to oh, him. Oh, that's fucked up. In blood. <sighs> Alright, go on. Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've in England what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <laughs> I have no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? <sighs> there are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. See, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week, talking about Salvation Harbor. 
Maybe start there. All right. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. Oh, man. Report to Mr. Throgmorton. All right, there's a fast throw point right here. I'm just gonna go there real quick and skip to it. and see you guys in a second. All right, so we made it. Um, I was just checking her at the fish market and Anna wasn't there, nobody was there anymore. <laughs> so they were actually trying to get rid of me. Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes. All right, let's go ahead and talk further with Mr. Throckmorton. Most of them stick to the Ooh. fish market. But they seem ah, to have sorry about that. Everywhere. A little lag. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. The den of those filthy inland mouthers. I'll tear it to the <sighs> ground. Actually, most of the EOD members I met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only inns mouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You ought to examine your prejudices. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? <laughs> <laughs> Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the Ooh, end. Ooh, wisdom. They killed my son for Kay's sake. I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead oh, of helping man. them. What did Facing you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me the only difference is that i'm useful to you no wonder desperate in's mouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the eod they had nowhere else to turn i shall think about what you've said oh boy <sighs> back to business i'll continue my search for professor Dow. i have a promising lead you have anything else to tell me your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you. Huh. <gasps> oh, we got a shot, eh? Oh, no way. No way! We got ourselves a little shouty poo. And that finishes quit pro quo. Man, we own it. Let's go ahead and equip that shoddy real quick. And shoot this motherfucker right in the face. Fuck. <laughs> 